at Nisho's Oyster Company in San Leon. A disassembly line of sorts, where oysters are shucked with quick precision. The contents and shells sent their separate ways. It's what you'd typically expect to see at an oyster company. But look outside and listen. And the stillness reveals these are not typical times for the oyster industry in Galveston Bay, which once produced more than 70% of the state's oysters. Then came Hurricane Ike. It was really unbelievable. Nobody expected it's going to do so much damage. Nisho Evich says he lost nearly half of his gross annual sales the first year after Ike. That's why I'm hanging on my fingernails. Also hanging on, his son Michael. Well, it means everything to our family. This is our livelihood. We asked Michael to show us one of the oyster boats working the bay. Using a giant rake with a net attached, they circle, dragging the rake across an oyster reef below. But here's the problem. The hurricane left a layer of sediment and debris on the bottom of the bay, smothering live oysters and destroying more than half of the bay's oyster reefs. In the year leading up to ice, revenue from the bay topped $18 million. In the year that followed, that figure was significantly lower, about $7 million. But this is more than just a story about economics. It's a story about the environment. You see, oysters play a bigger role than gracing tables. They also help clean Galveston Bay. And each little oyster can filter up to 50 gallons of water a day. And that's a really important service for the water quality of Galveston Bay. Which is why the Galveston Bay Foundation is seeking matching funds for a federal grant to help restore the reef system, which gives Misho Ivic hope. His accent is decidedly Croatian. I am optimist. I'm always optimist. But, but his heart, unmistakably, Texan. On Galveston Bay, Brad Woodard, 11 News.